Hey guys, it's Miela, and today I'm going to be doing a what I got for my 15th birthday video. I also want to say I'm not trying to brag in any shape or form, so let's just get on to this video. One of the things I got for my birthday is the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Let me give y'all a little look. The colors in here are absolutely gorgeous, like, look at it. I love these warm tones, and I don't know. I'm so happy I got this palette. I wanted it for a really long time. So I was really happy when my sister Estra got it for me. I feel like every person who's obsessed with makeup needs a palette like this in their collection because it's so good. And I honestly kind of want to get the Subculture palette even though everybody hates it. The next thing I got was the Jaclyn Hill palette times Morphe. Um, this palette, everybody was talking about it and everybody was so happy when they saw the colors and the shades and how it Body, how how Jacqueline said that this was a different formula than the normal Morphe shadows are. My sister Aya actually got this for me when it first launched, so the first release, um, she got it for me, and I was like super happy. It, it was a little bit before my birthday. She said she got it for me because she still wanted it, like the hype to be up when I got it. So that was like one of the first birthday gifts I got. Something else that I should have already had in my makeup collection that I didn't was the glow kit by Anastasia. I don't know why, but a lot of the birthday gifts I got was from Anastasia. Anastasia Beverly Hills is my favorite makeup brand of all time. And, like, I can't wait till I make it one day on their PR list. Like, that's the day I'm just going to cry. <laughs> anyway, my sister Michelle got this for me. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love the shades. Like, oh my god. The shades in this palette are gorgeous. And it's everything is super pigmented. There is some swatches of the glow kit. Something else I got for my birthday was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the shade Medium. Like I said, my sister Asura got this for me. Um, it's it's actually really, really good. Um, I still think the e.l.f. one is a really good cheap alternative. Uh, this retails for $40. This retails for $42. This retails for $40. And this retails for $38. Both shipping, she's expensive. Like I said, Anastasia Beverly Hills is one of my favorite brands of all time. And I love Norvina. And I love Anastasia. It's just amazing. Also, can we please talk about how Norvina looks exactly like Jacqueline Hill? Like, they look exactly alike in my opinion. I also got this happy birthday palette from NYX for my birthday. If you guys did not know, if you are signed up with Ulta and Sephora, you get a free birthday gift. I really suggest you guys could do that because it's like free makeup and it's always good stuff. The shades in here are absolutely gorgeous. I'm like obsessed with all the colors. There's a nice warm tone orange and just just the perfect shades ever. And they're actually really pigmented. Like, do you see? I swatched it on. Oh, I don't know if I can do this physically. On um, these two shades are some shimmer shades of the palette. And even the mattes are good. But oh my god, do you see? Don't pay attention to those. But do you see these two shades here? Absolutely pigmented and absolutely gorgeous. NYX, Ulta, y'all really did that. This wasn't really for my birthday, but I got it around my birthday. Um, Lancome was nice enough to send me some goodies. They sent me their dual finish highlighter in the shade Sparkling Peach. I say peach because there's no A in the peach part. So it's like P-E-C-H-E. -E. So not peach, peach. That's just how I say it. This is absolutely gorgeous. This pan, by the way, the pan for this is pretty big. Let me make sure my finger is clean before I swatch it so you can get a true, true swatch. My finger, my finger is clean, people, okay? It's clean. First of all, whenever I swatch it, it feels like butter in the pan, and look at that. I have no idea why nobody talks about this highlighter. It is so pigmented, so buttery, and so blinding. I really don't understand how nobody's talked about this this is such an underrated highlighter but yeah this is a really 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 good highlighter it feels like butter i don't i can't even explain it so thank you lancome lancome also sent me their tint idol ultra wear makeup stick i have this in the shade 320 bisque w which is not my shade i swatched it here earlier so that's why my neck looks a little white but this is like my true neck color right here do you see the difference? It's not really my shade. So, <laughs> so I use it as a highlighting stick. I go underneath my eyes with it, my nose, my chin, underneath my contour, forehead, all that stuff. I'm actually wearing that today. I have no concealer underneath my eyes. 
but I have this and since it's full coverage it works really good for my birthday I got the Too Faced just peachy matte palette and I really do want to thank myself for getting it for me I bought this for myself yes I'm one of those people that gets a birthday gift for themselves anyway do you see how pretty it is like the colors in here are absolutely gorgeous there's the most prettiest peaches ever well does that make sense uh, i really do feel like this palette is a lot more peachier than the sweet peach palette the first one that came out um these are all mattes they're all pigmented i'm gonna give you guys a couple of swatches it is so pigmented You see how pigmented these are and this retails for $45 something else I got for my birthday was the Fenty Beauty highlighter oh my god my sister yeah was very very nice enough to get this for me and I was like so happy when I got it like I was like so happy Technically, she didn't really get this for my birthday, but it was around my birthday, so technically it still counts. Technically. So right here is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in the shade Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I'm wearing Hustler Baby right now today. That's why it's it's blinding. Bag of Ruby hooked it up. She she did her thing. But oh my god, guys, it's so cute. The only complaint I have about this at all is how she put this Mean Money in here. Me money is not really cute. She a little, a little dull if you ask me. I know that's the point for like a natural highlighter, but honestly, I rather her just sell them all individually because I rather just have a whole pan of Hustler Baby because I'm going to run out of this soon, and all I'm gonna have left is me money, and God knows I'm not gonna use that. We can kind of see how it has that purple dual chrome effect. Packaging, it's an octagon, right? Wait. Yeah, it's an octagon. And it is so cute. The next product is the good old Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. My sister Ariat was very, very nice enough to get this for me because your girl is running out of hers. I was running out of mine for the most longest time. And I'm so happy, you know, got it again so I can get the beat brows, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, thank you, Ayat, for this. So, that's all I got for my birthday. And I hope you guys like this video. Um, it was really, really fun to film, actually, and I feel like I am in a little bit of a better mood today now. Um, I have filmed this video over 25 times, and I'm not even exaggerating. Like, I swear to God, I have filmed this video over 20 times. Like, I'm not even playing with y'all. I want to say thank you to everybody who got me a gift. And even if you just told me happy birthday, that's all I needed. That's really nice, because a lot of you guys told me happy birthday, which made me happy. Also, I want to bring up how we hit 45,000 subscribers. That blows my mind. On my last video, I was telling you guys, thank you. Thank you very much for getting me to 25,000 subscribers. And now, I'm saying for 45. That blows my mind. I still can't believe it. But, yeah. And YouTube really has gave me a world of opportunities. And, honestly, anyone can make it on YouTube. And I'm not saying that I made it on YouTube because clearly I haven't. But I do have something on YouTube that I'm proud of. And, you know, this is nice because it's something, this is my thing, you know. I did this. No one helped me get to the point where I'm at. I'm like, I still can't believe I'm at 45,000. Like, I'm almost halfway to, fifty. I'm not 50,000. I'm almost halfway to 100,000. And, oof, God knows what I'll do when I hit that. So, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe. And all that nice jazz. Follow all my social medias. It will be linked down below. And yeah, I don't have much to say. So, goodbye.